So a big question is, have my rider cracked it? Have they found the perfect e-bike? Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm riding this amazing brand new bike. In fact, it's hopefully gonna be out by the time you watch this video, which is the My Rider 24. And the version they've sent me to test is the GB3. So it's a brand new bike for My Rider, developed by My Rider, made by them in the UK, designed by them in the UK. Let's go for a ride and then I'll go through the spec, tell you a bit more about the bike. It is built for commuting and sort of like this, like, you know, sort of um, cycle networks, canal tow pass, that kind of stuff as well. And eventually I'm going to get right up that hill up there because it has got the, uh, the GB3 version on this, which is the three gears. So I'm going to cycle around a little bit and then go all the way up the top of that hill there on the road and see how the gears deal with that. Well, good morning, folks. What a lovely morning it is too. Been out for 96 minutes. So in a break from the norm, my rider has actually designed a bike, hopefully, that suits a lot of people. It's a 24 inch wheel bike and it doesn't fold. However, it's got some clever tricks to make it that much more practical for anybody not just van life and motorhomers or whatever, but people who store the bikes on the back of bike carriers and just in the hallway at work or at home where space is tight. And usually what really annoys everyone is the handlebars sticking out. So what have they done? They've made the handlebars fold and the pedals. So the actual width of the bike when the handlebars is folded down, the pedals are folded down, it's really, really, really slim. Which means that if you have got a bike carrier on the back of your car or motorhome or van or whatever, this is gonna fit in there so much nicer now. Like you say, if you leave it in a corridor at work or home, wherever, you can get past it much easier because it's just not gonna have anything that's sticking out. I think that is a bloody genius idea. Hats off to my rider for really thinking outside the box. So with a bit of tech information now, as I've spoke about the size of uh, the folded size, so when you fold the handlebars down and you fold the pedals together, that is only a 30 centimeter wide footprint and 86 centimeters high. So when I say they've designed this for motorhomes and you know, motorhome garages or you know the back of bike racks or sitting in a, an office or a home corridor or something like that. I really do mean it. They have really thought about how neatly they can fold everything. So it really does hopefully not get in the way at all. So the battery that powers this bike is a Samsung 10 and a half amp hour, which is 378 watt hours battery. Uh, the battery is sort of integrated into the frame there, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, it's lockable. You can basically take it off, charge it off or charge it on the frame. That should give you about 65 miles of range on a single charge. Now a full charge of this bike is two and a half to three hours, as opposed to some of them, which are like five and a half to six hours. And that's a big difference. Uh, and that is basically powering the rear hub motor, which they've tried to make ultra quiet as they can, uh, which is 250 watt, which does make this bike completely UK legal. Now, the reason why I say it's like whisper quiet is because it's belt driven. So it's got the gates belt drive system on there. And because it's my rider and because they're clever people, it's also got a three speed gearbox uh, built into the crank. So I've actually been up and down mountains. If you've ever watched my channel and some of the reviews of the old My Rider bikes, I've been up and down the mountains that they have on Tour de France. So things like the Stelvio Pass, um, you know, several mountains in Italy where they ride the Tour de France. And I've been up and down there and I've used the Gates belt drive and the three speed gearbox on the older folding version of the My Rider one, which I can tell you is quite a powerful and versatile little gearbox. And the Gates belt system is also like, you know, state of the art. So it does make it a very smooth and quiet bike to ride. And the gear changes, you know, from first to second to third are seamless and quiet as anything. Now, one of the things I noticed straight away is there's no suspension on the bike. I'm getting old, other people might be getting old too, and they might appreciate a bit of comfort. And what they've done 
to save everyone from being rattled around on our awful roads or cycle paths is um, yeah suspension seat post for the win so they've got a nice mine rider comfy seat on there and a suspension seat post you know without having actual physical suspension in there and they've made this bike very comfortable you can swap out the seat post for a rigid a fixed seat post but being the old gentleman i am i really appreciate the comfy seat another little feature to make it easier to fold away maybe pop in the boot of a car or whatever when you don't need it the front wheel comes off it's a quick release front wheel you've also got hydraulic brakes front and rear and then 15 miles an hour now well, let's do a brake test no miles an hour literally in a couple of seconds you probably heard the brakes squeal a bit then uh, yeah so i can confirm very good brakes and the left brake lever is the rear brake that makes me so happy the front brake is on the right like i say it's completely uk and eu road legal 250 watt motor three speed gears it does have a thumb throttle control but the sort of the software that's built into the system knows what you're doing with it so you can't actually sort of like use it like a throttle you've got to pedal the throttle really is for setting off from the lights or setting off from a junction to give you a bit of a boost and also to give you a bit of a boost as you're cycling as well if you need a little bit more power you've got front and rear mud guards with a rear rack as well the rear rack has got a 25 kilogram capacity and the rear mud guard has actually got the rear light built into it when you're braking actually sort of goes brighter and turns into a brake light and then on the front on the handlebars on the headstock there you've got a front light as well like i say it's 24 inch wheels they are my rider's own tires that they've developed as well and this tire is good for commuting and sort of cycle paths you know canal tow paths that kind of stuff as well so the size is 24 by 2.125 so let's talk about rider stats as well now so the rider height range can be from five foot to six foot four with a maximum rider weight of 120 kilograms and obviously then you've still got the rack on the back which has got a 25 kilogram weight and they also make a rack for the front which i'll show you in a bit um, which has got another 10 kilograms uh, payload capacity as well so it's got a, two little screw mounts as well for a drinks holder down the bottom of the frame there so that's pretty cool so let's go over the handlebar controls now so on the left hand side starts off with a nice comfy palm rest grip we've then got the three speed manual gear train and that allows you to change from first second and third which is nice and comfortable we've then got these uh, lovely lovely hydraulic brake levers then you've got the little controls three button controls that control the onboard computer system you know to power it on and off change the modes all that kind of stuff and you've got a nice color display that shows you your speed current temperature how long you've been riding for uh, the watts you're using and um, the assistance mode that you've got and then underneath that is where the uh, headlamp is mounted and then moving over to the right hand side you've got your thumb control and then the front brake lever and again a nice palm rest over on the right there so the bike's got five levels of assistance and obviously you can control them using the buttons on the side I like level two personally and then you've got the thumb throttle which you can use as like a boost mode so say for example you know you pull out from a junction you want to get going and you don't want to go through all the power modes to get you going so you just hold the thumb throttle down pedal and yeah the boost mode just basically gets you going it's almost like you've hit mode five level assist mode five instantly um, and obviously with it being a UK legal bike or EU UK legal bike at 15 miles an hour that assistance just basically stops and then it's all you which I kind of like and the less boost mode the less power mode and all that that you use then um, yeah the battery lasts that much longer as well so I'm in mode zero now which means no power got a bit of a headwind so I'm in gear two doing 13 miles an hour and that's fine I'm not using any power whatsoever the watts output says zero so in my books I could ride right now until I am completely exhausted and then go up to like load 
three or four. <laughs> so I got maximum assistance on the way back. So there's one little statistic that I've left out until now. <laughs> Just because I think it's really kind of uh, amazing. And um, I didn't believe it until I actually checked it myself. So, like I said, I've had the My Rider 1 and the My Rider 1 GB3. And they weigh around about 20 kilos with, you know, batteries and bike racks and all that kind of stuff. This weighs 21 kilos with the battery and the rack and that kind of stuff. I find that is astonishingly light. So, for example, if you do have you know, a bike rack on the back of your motorhome, it's probably got a weight limit and its weight limit is probably about 36, 38 kilos. So if you remove the battery, obviously the bike gets much lighter. So you can get two of these on the back of a bike rack and still be under its weight limit. That's why I wear a big coat, by the way, just to fill all my pockets with all the camera gear. I've even got a pole down that one. Right on. So I'm just going to take you down this little track now so you can see the type of track that is totally acceptable for the new My Rider 24. The average little sort of cycle path you're going to get or canal tow path. Um, a little bit overgrown, not exactly smooth, but nevertheless, the average kind of thing you're going to come across. And beautiful views as well, which, you know, it's pretty much why we all get out on the bike, isn't it? Bit of exercise and stunning scenery. Come here, little droney. And there we go. Anyway, more importantly, let's go and find a hill. There's a dirty great big hill over here with a water tower on top. So I'm gonna go and get up there and see if these three gears are as good as the three gears on the My Rider 1 that I've been up the mountains with. I mean, they should do, but last time it was 16 inch wheels. Whereas now it's 24 inch wheels. So I wanna see what the difference is. Get out on the open road now. It's a top gear. <laughs> is that copyrighted? Can I say that? It's a lovely smooth bike to ride with the belt drive system and the built-in gears and all that kind of stuff. Nice and quiet as well. I think the seating position's just spot on for me as well. Probably need to stop and adjust the seat height a tiny little bit, but the space in between the seat and the handlebars is fine. Obviously the step through frame as well. Right, so. Let's do a right here. Let's go and test some hills out. Oh no, first clouds of the day. <laughs> and it was all going so well. <laughs> Got a bit chilly now the sun's gone in. I've come out nice and early though. Less traffic around. Right, so let's tackle this hill. I'm currently in third gear in uh, mode two assistance. I'm making it up the hill. 15 miles an hour, not a problem. Let's change down to second gear just to get my cadence back up. There we go. So second gear. Good cadence. I've shot up to level three. This isn't the hilliest bit, <laughs> so I'm saving myself. But even so, second gear, 
and that motor's pulling, no problem at all. Change the third gear, which is instant, brilliant, so smooth. So back on the flat now, just for a tiny little bit before we get to the next hill. So it's just coming up now. And I'm gonna go straight in there for a second. And this does lead in straight away to first. Still in level mode three of assistance. Some extra help getting up here. Morning. There we go. So first gear. First gear four in level assistance four. Back to three as it sort of uh, comes to the top of the hill. Up to second gear. Yep. So they're pretty much the same gears that I remember from the folding my rider. That with a combination of using the three mechanical gears, physical gears, and the five levels of assistance, you can definitely get up hills, no problem. Hello. Well now, third gear, let's go down. Now again, we're doing 17 miles now already, so we've got no um, assistance now. I'm just basically gonna see when the resistance runs out on my pedals, 21 miles an hour. So yeah, so I'm in third gear. Like I said, there's no assistance now. So 21 miles an hour. I'm just getting a little bit of resistance on the pedals. So if you are commuting, and you got some nice long stretches, then yeah, 20, 21 miles an hour is a good pace. Where you can still actually pedal, obviously not getting any assistance, but you're getting some exercise. Battery's not gonna be used either. So yeah, so if you fancy commuting, and then the weekend or on the evening, cycle tow paths or little cycle tracks, the UK cycle network's pretty cool. Both the roads and the cycle network do get bumpy. But yeah, stable as anything. 24 inch wheels, nice wide bars. Make a very comfortable and stable ride. And with those three gears and five levels of assistance and your little boost on your throttle as well, that's all you need. So big question is, have my rider cracked it? Have they found the perfect e-bike well there's a big question yet to be answered and that is will it fit in the back of my van well let's go and find out but probably another question you might want to know is what's it like riding on grass because obviously you're going to come to campsites or you're going to go to events or shows that mean you're going to ride around uh, i don't know a field or a showground or something like that. So it's nice to know how it's going to deal with those situations. And I have to say, pleasantly surprised. So now I'm on the harder field. Yeah, it's fine. And considering some of the places I go are forest tracks, fields, towpaths, canal towpaths. So, at least 50-50 road and off-road. I think this is capable. I think if the chaps and chapesses over at my rider can do their dastardly deed and make an adventure edition one of them with maybe some more off-road tires, I might have to place my order if it fits in the back of my van. So let's go and see if it fits in the back of my van. Morning. Oh, it's a play in the advert. <laughs> Apparently I'm the face of my rider's current advertising scheme 
um, for the Mine Rider 1 GB3. So if you've not seen that one, look out for it on Facebook and Instagram and everything else. So we've got these bolts either side of the headstock here and they've got this bike rack. So you've got this nice little front rack which gives an extra 10 kilograms of payload. So if you do want to, you know, go bike packing or go out and explore or something like that over the weekend, um, then yeah, this will definitely give you more load capacity for your gear. Obviously it doesn't move when you steer, um, still allows for the same movement or anything like that and obviously then allows you to still fold the handlebars down. So yeah, 10 kilograms, 25 kilograms and then your rider weight as well. Can the my rider <laughs> fit in there? Let's find out. So first things first, handlebars down, seat off. Let's see if that will fit under there. Oh, wow. You're thinking, oh, it might even fit like that, John. But this front wheel just takes it up too much. I think the easiest thing to do is drop the front wheel because it is a quick release. All right, let's see now, front wheel drops off. So is it still slightly too long to fit in? Oh, oh no, it fits. And then we just have a nice little bungee. straps down like that and then we put the seat for the other one like that so the biggest thing is how much do they stick out let's put the rack in there I can even carry my spare seat that they've kindly lent me so that one closes does this one close? Does it touch anything? <gasps> no way. <laughs> I could have two of them in my boot. So the bike fits in the garage. Wasn't expecting that. I'm rather excited for the uh, options that that leads to. Obviously, uh, this is going to be collected in a couple of days and once the bag is released <laughs> I might be placing an order mm. and if they'll do me one like in that colour in the Adventure Edition oh, that'd be good anyway thanks for watching my review video hope you like the bike and um, yeah the My Rider guys have definitely knocked this one way out of the park well done guys All right. Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, folks.